Hello everyone. So now I'm going to try to explain all the complicated stuff he said. So uh, let me start by asking you like, a theoretical question. Did you know that more than 25% of the global electrical energy consumption in the world is because of computation and digital systems? So this digital system is some things like our phones, our tablets, and our computers that we use on our daily basis. But what is computation? So let me ask you a simple question. What is 7 plus 3? What is 7 plus 3? Can you say that for me? <laughs> so right now, here, you made a, a simple computation where you took inputs from me, which is 7 and 3, and you added them, and then got a result that is 10. That is a very simple example of what happens inside our phones or our computers. What happens really is something way bigger. They take a lot of data, and now we live in a world that everything is connected to everything, and every day there's a lot of data, a lot of likes on Facebook, a lot of videos uploaded into YouTube or streamed from YouTube, pictures. And we also use computers to actually do research, like for example cancer research or like uh, transportation research. A lot of amount of data that needed to be computed. And that data consumes a lot of electrical energy. One way to reduce this electrical energy is something called approximate computations. And from the name is it's approximated, which means it's not very precise. So approximate computing is like a technique that we use to make use of that everything in life has error tolerance, which means there is a range that if you operate inside this range, you're gonna get the exact result or the result that you want. But if you got outside the range, then you start to get, get mistakes. So basically, let's say like an easy example of how that's it. Let's assume that you're like texting on your phone on the portrait mode, the normal mode. You have the keyboard with, with the, you know, uh, the button, which is relatively small. You can make mistakes, and a lot of us make typos and bring the wrong letter, right? It happens to every one of us. And it's not because we have fat thumbs or clumsy fingers. But if you turn the phone and you got like on that landscape mode, you got bigger buttons and you start worrying less about if you're actually hitting the right letter. Why? Because it's bigger and it has more space for error. So you can press in a wider area and you'll get the same letter. That is the simplest way what approximate computing does. What I'm doing now is I'm trying to find an application or get an application, analyze it, and get the best point that I can operate in, not just to save energy, to get the same quality, and also in a bigger range to save time and resources and money for researchers. So my point is, because nothing in life is precise, I'm trying to find the best compromise. Thank you.